Now, one of the things that we can do with multivariate functions is model nonlinear transformations. In the same way that we used matrices to model linear transformations, linear changes of coordinates, we can do nonlinear changes of coordinates. Remember our old friend polar coordinates, right? R and theta, you're in the plane. You can convert from that to Euclidean coordinates, to x and y, and you do so through a multivariate function. In this case, if you're going from polar to Euclidean, you can look at the function x equals r cosine theta, y equals r sine theta. That has two inputs, two outputs. If you want to go the other way, you take the inverse of that function. Now, these are nice. These functions have uh, multiple inputs, multiple outputs, and we can visualize them in terms of the coordinate systems. Great, that's 2D, but what happens in 3D and in higher dimensions where we have functions with n inputs and n outputs? That's exciting.